Welcome back. 837, there are new details in the death of actress Carrie Fisher. TMZ's Harvey Levin joins us from L.A. Harvey, I know Carrie was very open, often talked about her struggles. I know a bipolar disorder, alcoholism, drug addiction. Uh, but I, this, I think, still caught a lot of people off guard. <coughs> it did, Lauren. Um, and it's strange. Uh, so the coroner has already come out days ago mm -hmm. saying that Carrie Fisher died from sleep apnea. Now, this is six months ago. So you would think if they've already reached the cause of death, they would have sent the toxicology report out at the same time. Right. But they said, all they said was they couldn't determine if drugs were a factor, though they did find drugs. They weren't specific about what they found. Okay. So yesterday, days after they come out with that statement, they released the toxicology report. And the toxicology report says that Carrie Fisher had cocaine, morphine, codeine, oxycodone, heroin in her system. Gosh. And, and it, it, you know, you think to yourself, wait a minute. The coroner said a couple of days ago that, she, that they couldn't even determine if drugs had anything to do with it, mm -hmm. that sleep apnea caused her death. But then it's like, why didn't they release the toxicology report at the same time? Right. And then you start looking at it and you're thinking, how many times have people died of sleep apnea? And I've checked around, and I've talked to people, you know, in various coroner's offices, and they say they, they, they don't even remember a case where that happened. So really? it's just an odd situation to me that they are saying that, you know, and listen, I'm not a doctor. It's just weird to me that they released the toxicology report after they released the cause of death where that story circulates. And then all of a sudden this comes out and she had yeah. all these drugs in her system, which when, which typically could cause an adverse reaction when mm -hmm. you mix all that stuff. Right. Actually suffered a heart attack on a flight last year, right? She, she did. And then the question is, did the sleep apnea trigger the heart attack? Mm -hmm. Or did the drugs trigger the heart attack? Or did the drugs trigger sleep apnea, which triggered a heart right. attack? But they are disconnecting the drugs from any of this. Hmm. And you know, look, I, again, I'm not a doctor, but it just seems odd to me the way this played out in terms of this information coming out after right. the coroner's findings on how she died. Yeah, very unusual. Okay, let's talk about the uh, the birth of Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins. Uh, still no official word from, from Beyonce on if the twins are even here, but it looks like all signs point to yes. <laughs> uh, what oh, no, no, the, the, the twins are here. Okay, the, the well, twins are here. We, well, Beyonce not confirming that herself or Jay-Z, but we've definitely heard from Beyonce's father as we're, we're seeing a post that he made. Yeah, I mean, she, she had the babies, we, we know, um, a week ago yesterday. Uh, they are still in the hospital. Uh, and um, we were told, we posted this over the weekend, that they had a minor medical issue. Uh, we are told that um, the babies were premature, um, not, not unusual with twins. Right. Remember, she announced on February 1st. Um, and we're told that the babies are, quote, under the lights. Now, typically what that means is that the babies have some sort of jaundice mm -hmm. that uh, occurs as a result of elevated bilirubin levels. And you put the baby, babies under the lights because what it does is it lowers the bilirubin level in the blood and then eliminates the jaundice. So yeah, usually that's not a, seri not a serious condition. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I think I do, I do. in terms of how to describe <laughs> that under the correct. lights. That is did correct. I get, did yes. I get that right? You totally nailed <laughs> did it. Did I get that right? You totally nailed it. Do we know, do we know if it's a boy and, boy and girl is what I've heard? Is that, is that true? Is that what you've heard? It's a boy, it's a boy and a girl. It no names. A boy and a girl. So do you know the names? You seem to know everything. Has an air. No, no. Oh, come on, no, Harvey. We don't know the name. <laughs> I don't, we don't know the name. Yeah. Um, you know, what's, what's interesting is are they going to pick the kind of name like Blue Ivy, which is right. a little unusual, or are they going to go more traditional? So everybody's kind of wondering about that. And you know what's interesting is they kind of both worked Blue Ivy into their music. Um, and Jay-Z has some new music coming out. And I, I heard that, it, I can't remember the, na the title of whatever his new album is that's coming out, but some people were, were, were thinking that maybe it was like the two names of the babies combined or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this, this feels like the Beatles, um, what was it, Abbey Road, where you see them walking across right. the street and everybody's going, trying to analyze it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, no, we'll nobody see. knows what the names are yet. Everybody's guessing. All right, we will see. Thank you. So, it'll be interesting to see how Beyonce and Jay-Z announce it. Huh? Thank you so much, Harvey. Yep.
You can see TMZ weeknights, 11 p.m. weekdays, 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show's website at fox4news.com. It's 842. Just